Hi guys, it's Angela from Cali Mom Collects and today I have another jewelry bag opening for you. This is a mystery lot of jewelry. I buy these lots to resell on eBay. Now, this is, oh, it's windy. This is a six pound bag of jewelry and the title of this one is Necklace, Bracelet, Watch, Ring, Bulk Jewelry. I bought this one from the same Goodwill as the last lot I opened, which was premium. It was titled premium lot. Now I paid over a hundred dollars for that premium lot of jewelry, but it was really good. I got some really neat things in there. This lot, I only paid $37 and then um, shipping and handling, which was like $46 or something like that total. So I'm super curious to see what's inside this six pound lot. Let's go ahead and get into this bag of jewelry. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, I really enjoy not only making these jewelry opening videos, but I enjoy watching them. So I hope you do as well. Okay, six pounds of jewelry. Okay, I love to do my videos outside because it's so peaceful out here with the birds and the nice weather, but sometimes we hear planes and neighbors and dogs and stuff like that. But okay, first off, I, there is a brand new pair of earrings from Premier Designs. They're very pretty with little rhinestones and silver tone. And those are really pretty. I like those. Here we have a glass bead bracelet. It is a stretch bracelet. It looks like it could be handmade, homemade, but um, I really like the glass beads in this. Look at how pretty. Ooh, I like this one. We have got some amethyst and turquoise and maybe some glass beads. This is really pretty. Three strand necklace, gorgeous. Oh, this this watch looks kind of neat. This is a Timex. Looks kind of fancy. Base metal stainless steel back. Bezel says base metal bezel. I don't know. This is really nice looking. I'm terrible with watches. I never end up listing them because I don't know how to do the whole battery thing and I just have them all sitting in a spot to someday do something with, but I just haven't. Ooh, look at this cloisonne bracelet. I think cloisonne jewelry is beautiful. I'm really attracted to the look of them. This is just a thin little one, but it's very pretty. Okay, this kind of looks like it could be a artesian handmade piece. It has little matching earrings that they attach to it, which is nice, so it didn't get lost. Glass beads. This is cute. Okay, here we have another glass bead necklace. This is a choker style necklace and it has beautiful beads. You can 
see kind of inside the swirl inside of them. Very pretty. More glass beads, short choker style. Very neat beads. I like glass jewelry. Glass beads, they're very pretty and artistic looking. That one's pretty. This is bright. Oh, this is a Kate Spade. This is a Kate Spade New York necklace in excellent condition. This gold tone is perfect. And it's very bright and summery looking to me. Gorgeous. All of the stones are there. Oops, that one's backwards. This is a neat piece. More glass bead jewelry. These are a lime green color. And they have drops and some faceted ones and then some other different ones there. And then gold bead, um, silver beads. This one is very interesting. Pretty. Okay, let's show the red one first. This is bright glass faceted beads. This one's long. Um, very pretty, very pretty red necklace. Yep, red faceted glass beads, beautiful. Here we have a Marc Jacobs men's watch. Very nice with the separate little faces in there and the date. This is nice. All stainless steel, water resistant. And it says five ATM. Now, I don't know what that means. Genuine leather, very nice. Okay, I really like these beads, but this is really short. I'm not a fan of choker necklaces. I feel like I'm suffocating in them. But the beads in this is very pretty. So even if you weren't a fan of chokers, you could probably do something else with these beads. Next, we have a very bold and beautiful Betsy Johnson necklace. Look at this heart animal print how cool is this her pieces are so original and definitely bold the cute little heart betsy johnson tag and it is adjustable which is nice i would probably want to wear it on the longest Very nice, I like this. Betsy Johnson, pretty um, popular and I definitely think this will sell, no problem. Here we have a beautiful Melifiori glass pendant. It is gorgeous. Look at the design in that. You can see like the gold flex and bronze colors. I love this kind of glass. Um, the band is all tangled and not in great condition, but the pendant is beautiful. Okay, we have a hematite and amethyst, it looks 
like bracelet. Pretty. Here we have a semi-precious stone bead necklace. I love stone jewelry. A little thing about me is that my daughter and I, we love rock hounding. So when our family goes out to the desert and the boys are wanting to ride the razors, us girls are wanting to look for crystals and rocks. So I think the rock hounder in me just absolutely loves when I come across jewelry with precious gemstones because I have a thing for them. I like them and this necklace is pretty. There's a bunch of them in there. It looks like onyx, some agate, and I can't identify them all, but like, what is this yellow one? That one's different. I wish I knew more about them because I love them, but this is beautiful. Okay, this off the bat looks vintage to me. It's a Monet in very good condition. I love that linked leaf look. It's adjustable. Very pretty. Whoa, look at this. This is different. Now, I'm not sure, it's, it's light. These kind of feel like plastic. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't feel like gemstones to me. Maybe this is amber. Hmm. I heard that amber has like a, almost like a sticky feel to it. And this kind of does. I need to look into this necklace a little bit more. It's different, this piece, but what do you guys think? Let me know. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This looks like citrine. Now these pieces look like them in a, just like a glazed, untumbled form. And then these ones are a tumbled stone. But this necklace is beautiful. Wow. I definitely think I'm going to be saving this one in my collection. I love this piece. Look at that. Okay, this watch is old. The maker is Banner, and you can just tell by looking at it that this is a pretty old vintage watch. The leather band is just shot. And this is this watch has been around for a long time. You can tell. Pretty cool. Okay, we have this stretch bracelet and I can see that this has some matching earrings. It feels like glass. Pretty little rhinestone tasseled accent piece. No makers, but these are in excellent condition. Very pretty. Okay, 
this has some type of carved resin or clay. Pretty different. These pieces are glass. These pieces look like stone. And then, now that has like an Asian symbol on there. This is pretty cool. I like this. This reminds me of that um, the red carved Asian vases. I can't think of the name right now. But um, this is a really neat piece. Very interesting. We have a brooch. It is on a copper metal back and then like a painted enamel front. Pretty interesting. No makers. Look at the chunky rhinestones on this bracelet. Oh my goodness. This is a J. Crew. That's pretty cool. Very nice J. Crew bracelet. Alright. Alright, we have some. Alex and Annie bracelets. This one is in terrible condition. That is not sellable at all. These two are in decent condition. This one says USC. And this is an energy symbol. Cute. We have some hammered gold tone flower earrings. They are clip. Oh, that looks like a Ralph Lauren. I see an R and an L. Can you guys see it? So these are Ralph Lauren clip earrings. Okay, this cobalt blue glass totally reminds me of Italy. The Italian cobalt blue glass is pretty well known, that bright blue. And this pretty little pendant, this necklace is gorgeous. Look at that blue. No marks. But it's beautiful. Okay, here we have the same necklace just in two different colors. And these are J. Crew. And this one is a navy blue. And they're long. They're very long, as you can see. I have them folded over. And this one is a red. Pretty. Okay, here's another long necklace. And these ones have beautiful glass beads. Look at these beads. Have a lot of planes flying over today. It makes it hard when you're trying to record a video. Beautiful. 
beautiful pink glass beads and purples and I love this. This necklace looks very tribal to me. I actually think that these beads are some type of bone and I don't know if you guys can see but it's very porous. You can see that there's texture and indents and pores in this bead. So it is a, a bone of some sort definitely. And these feel like wood, painted wood. And yeah, this piece is interesting. Okay, we have another glass piece. This one's shaped like a fish, the green underneath. It is, part of the clasp is broken off, but this pendant is very pretty. I think somebody could do something awesome with this. Okay, this is awesome. This is Tiger's Eye, and in it is a compass. This is cool. Wow. I love this. Let's get in really close so we can see. That is a definitely an original neat looking piece. Awesome. Okay, this necklace is interesting to me. So, the ribbon part of it is absolutely disgusting. This necklace was used and loved. This is a J. Crew necklace. But these are stone. And this part of the necklace is still beautiful. Look at that. I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it's gorgeous. So my thoughts are to cut this nasty ribbon off and just get a different ribbon because this part of the necklace is still gorgeous. So that's that. Lots of glass beads, lots of layers. Lots of color. Okay, it's all tangled. How colorful is this? Wow. Faceted beads, seed beads. Very pretty. Okay, here's another one. Whatever this is, it's gross and it's old and yucky, but this is still really pretty. I think somebody can, these are glass beads and they have that Aurora Borealis. Somebody can make something with this part of it and throw away all the rest of the yuckies. Let's see, where did this come from? All Con, New York. Alley Con, New York. Anyways, this is gonna have to be repurposed. Those beads are beautiful. Okay, we have a memory 
wire necklace that is misshapen in a very simplistic artsy glass pendant. Okay. Oh, and there's another pendant that is not on anything. This one says Mom, Momo, M-O-M-O. little glass heart. A simple leaf vine like necklace kind of has that antique gold tone look. It's adjustable. It's cute. have this pretty pendant that looks like peridot or a peridot colored olive green um, CZ. I don't see any marks on it, but that's pretty. Next we have two pairs of very vintage styled earrings. Um, these ones can you see the glass cameo in there? These are really cool. And he has the blue stone bead there. And then these ones, very neat. I don't see any makers on that, but how cool are those? Wow. And then these ones are similar style. These ones are bigger and they dangle, but it has a little crystal, a little carved bone bird, little iridescent heart, and a filigree piece here, and then a green stone. And then this blue glass leaf. Oh, this one's missing the little crystal. Hmm, I wonder if that's in there, but these are both are very interesting earrings. Okay, we've got binoculars. Oh, and a cute little bird. This is for bird watchers. The tag says Amano Studio. And this is the cutest necklace if you are into bird watching. It has the gold bird and the little gold binoculars. And you could actually see through them. Look. Oh, this twists. Okay. That's really cool. Okay, we have a little pocket knife. All right, I don't need to take that out. It is what it is, it's a little pocket knife. Okay, we have a couple. This one is a stretch watch, it says Elgin. And these are very old looking just the faces of watches. This one says Omega. And this one, Hamilton? Oh, this is a military issue watch. Order Department USA. Wow, that's interesting. This is an old military watch. Hmm. Very interesting, and I don't know about this one, but they're definitely old. Pretty cool. Last but not least, we have some earrings and some single earrings up there. We have these vintage clip-on earrings. 
no marks. We have these rhinestone earrings. These are from J. Crew. Those are pretty. Some purple glass bead dangle earrings. Cute. Some glass butterfly earrings. This one's missing the hook, but that's a super easy fix. Those are cute. Some St. Patrick's Day earrings. You won't be missing your green. Glass beads and pretty little gold dangle with a little freshwater pearl and glass faceted beads. Those are pretty. And then all of these are singles. Look at how bright these ones are, goodness. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to let me know which piece was your favorite. And if you aren't already, please subscribe and like it if you like it. Um, I love to do these jewelry openings and um, other eBay tips and stuff. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.